Every single time, if there is something vape related, there goes heathen. What's going on everybody, Jay Hayes here. So today I'm gonna to be doing a review on a device that I was actually sent for the purposes of the review. Why is it that Digiflavor ain't got no problem sending me shit, but Geek Vape does? Like what? what is that? Let me fix this camera, I think it's a little jacked up. Yeah, so this time we're gonna be looking at a Digiflavor product and it's called the ZZ what? ZI or Z1 side-by-side -side kit. Oh, this little panel here. I originally saw this either a review or on a picture on Instagram. And I was like, ooh, that little panel, Jamie's na not na I was nasty and nice. And nasty? Yeah, that works. I saw it and I said, okay, well, that reminds me a lot of the abalone on the Lost Vapor Pete. It, oh, my God, what the fucking words? The Biden's got me all caught up. Uh, it reminded me a lot of the Lost Vape e Petite. And then I was like, well, is it really that or is it resin? Digiflavor. Oh, where do we begin? The last thing I can remember that was really, really impactful that was Digiflavor was the drop, right? Or was that that was that was Digiflavor? Absolutely phenomenal product, right? Like they did the RTA with with wow, thinking about a Digiflavor Geek Vape. Geek Vape did the the Hero with Rip Trippers. Also did the Pharaoh under Digiflavor. Okay, so that kind of makes sense. So not they they did do a mod. I, I just can't remember anything that just absolutely wowed me. Now, a lot of their tanks were fantastic. I'm dying to see what's going on here. Side-by-sides, right? Side-by-sides are essentially mods that allow you to put a tank on the top of it. I'm going to show you what it is. and Or on the side of it, allowing it to create just one symmetrical box. So you don't really have any type of overhang. And it's just very, very compact. Because there is a lot of dead space. When you're ever looking at a mod, there's a lot of room behind the chip. There's a lot of room between the battery and the chip. There's just... There's much more things they could do with that real estate, and with side-by-sides, they kind of crunch that all down and then nail it. Now, they only did send me one. I don't know why. I would have liked all the colors, but I don't have a problem with just doing a review on one product as long as they sent it to me. So, that's exactly what we're going to be going over. Keep in mind, this is not opened. It is totally sealed. Unboxing is what we're doing. So, without further ado, let's... Flip it. All right, so what you're looking at is the ZZ, you see what I'm saying? ZZ1 side by side kit, but that's not really it. It's just Z1 black. Oh, there it is. Abalone shell. I, you have no idea how I feel about this. There's two types of abalone or abalone. The, the correct way to say it is abalone, like a baloney, just with an A in front of it. There's a New Zealand version, which is basically checkered, and then there's just a regular traditional uh, type of, well, You'll see when I open it up because the picture is not going to do it any good. And then digit flavor right there on the side of the box. Really nothing. And then on the back side of the box, you have a lot of information. We're just going to give you that a freeze frame so you can read that. So looking on the back side of that, it says it comes with a stay pack or an, a knack or nacer ornament equipped with a mouth to lung expert siren three. Now, I never did the review. I don't think on any of these sirens, but if that's inside of here, we are going to look at that. I'm not going to build it just because, well, it's a mouth to lung and it's just, I don't really know if they want me to review that. And then on the bottom, you're going to get your scratch and sniff. There is your geek vape, but this is going to taste and smell just like... Hmm, like a cavity that's filled with waffles. Let's open it up. Here we go. Really, really cool logo right there. Wow, that is a very attractive presentation. Yeah, so as soon as you open it up, there you go. That is your piece of paper. I had to blur out the back because, well, I know I could get a warning for showing that. But we're just going to go ahead and... Okay, that's much more attractive than what I thought that was going to be. Inside the box, and it does look like the, the RTA is already on the top. And then inside of here, you get a little glass. That would be for the tank. I didn't. I was not expecting a tank to come with this. Okay, and then inside here. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yo. 
Okay, so inside of there, you're going to get a triple tree, a bunch of extra O-rings. Very, very, very nice. Easy breezy. I'm not a fan of those O-rings, though. The clear jammies. Much prefer the black rubber. Get a little USB-C. I know a lot of people love that situation. You get a cotton ball. Silica gel pack and make sure you don't eat that. If I could just hit the box, it'd be fantastic. And inside of there, we're going to have a lot of more peripherals. Warning card, paraphernalia, and then a registration card. And then there's your user manual. There is so much paperwork. This is really, really cool right here. I wish I could show you the other side of it, or I did. I just blurted it out. Either way, and then there we go. Okay. Now, normally I don't give a shit about coils that come with something. These little tiny jammies are the absolute most adorable coils I've ever seen. Stainless steel, nichrome, nichrome, stainless steel, no canthal. See? So... I can't use these because it's going to look like I got herpes all over my face. And these, uh, just not a fan of stainless steel. But what I do want to highlight, though, look how tiny they are. They're absolutely adorable. This is That's my type of coal right there, if it was Canthal, but it's stainless steel. So very, very nice. And before we look at the mod, let's just unscrew this. And that does, take a look at that. So that should give you an idea of what a tank should look like on top of a side-by-side. -side. It should be down a little bit more, but all in all, that's pretty good. It looks like you're going to fill this just from the top right there. Yep, very nice. The tanks that you fill from the side or the bottom are never really good on a side-by-side -side because you're usually going to block them out. And then that is the tank. That drift tip is very, very long, very large. And that, that appears to be a metal drip tip. Wow, that is unique. You don't see that often. These are, that's a tooth cracker is what that is. And then to fill that up on the top, you're just going to turn this, fill it right there. It is clean underneath in the drip tip. Very, very nice. Clear O-rings. And then on the bottom, Siren 3 Digit Flavor. I really cannot remember. Let's see what this airflow is like all the way open before I say, you know what? It's actually pretty restrictive. I wouldn't say that that's 100% mouth and lung all the way open. Now, I'm sure if we cut that down to that one little port, yep, that's mouth the lung. So let's take a look at the inside here. Wow, that's actually a pretty cool deck. See, here's the deal, right? It, this needs to be two different reviews because if I'm going to review that, that's so people that are just coming for this don't want to see the RTA. Wow, that's a really, really unique cutout. You see that? We do have a little bit of an edge, so as you put your leg down there and pin it, pinch it down, it should not fly out. Actually, pretty good machining. And there's your airflow there. Let's just see for shiggles if we can remove that little airflow adapter and make it wide open. No. That's kind of stuck in there. I thought that that little insert guy would be able to pop out. Kind of necked it up a little bit trying to pull it out. 2021 January. It's very, very nice. But you're probably buying this device for what we're looking at right here. Now, without the RTA unit and a battery, it is extremely, extremely lightweight. It feels really, really good. It almost feels like it's supposed to be a squonk because of this cutout that you have right here. But I can tell you, obviously, it's not. That's your battery tube. Even the machining on this and the color is just very, very, very nice. We don't see any scratches, dings, dents, purse, purse, cowboy boots. Uh, what I'm not going to like is it's going to be a proprietary chip. Very, very small screen. And then that is, in fact, real abalone. You could tell. You see how, like, you see this port or this hole right here? And you see all the holes there? That's something, or yeah, even better, you see how these are, like, cut into panels? Wait, you see it right here? You see how it's a breakup, right, of the monotonous or monotonuity? There you go. That's a good word. Same here. Sometimes you will see it where, well, this one doesn't really have a breakup at all now, does it? No, that pattern is pretty consistent. Every one of these will be individual. You do not have to worry about that because it's abalone and it's from an animal, so to speak. Uh, it's not something that would... What is, is that a 25? No. No, that, that, is, that is definitely a 25. Okay, well, I was looking, I said, wait a minute. 
I mean, 24 is probably what it's optimal for, but 25 does, in fact, work. Keep in mind that this is a single 18650, so, you're, you know, I, I get it. People are going to say, well, it should have been a 21700. When you go with the 21700, the problem you're going to run into is you're making it 5 millimeters at least taller. 7065, 18650, right? Or 18650. So that's 65 millimeters in height for an 18650. 70 millimeters bring it up to here. Also, you're going from an 18 millimeter to a 21 millimeter, meaning that you're going to make this three more millimeters bigger. Is it really worth it? I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disagree and say no, I don't think it is worth it. But I, I know that some people love that. Now, if we're talking about a regular mod, Okay, then you have a Valda. It's a it's a little a little crunchier than what I like. Now, if you're talking about a regular mod, yeah, you have a valid argument. That screen is very, very, very basic. Um, basically, if it's going to focus, what we have on the screen, no atomizer, the wattage, and for whatever reason, it's not picking it up. You have voltage in the corner there, and then over there, you have the resistance. One, two, three. The volt power bypass, that's it. That hold the two down, nothing. Those two down, nothing. Hold these two down. Nothing. Uh yeah. So you want a very, very basic set. 80 watts. That's good. That screen is very, very tiny. <sighs> Where could they have put it? If they, they well, uh, well, they got that USB on the bottom. So I'm gonna say what they could have done was put the screen here, make it a little bit more colorful. But they do have that real estate. Maybe you're putting it up and I'm um, done giving recommendations. Either way, even with the battery, and it does feel nice. Now let's see what kind of tank. This is something I should have been doing with side by sides for a very, very, very long time, but I haven't. Let's see what size tanks you could fit on here to where they would go flush. So if you're looking at about a 38 millimeter tank, would sit flush on there. So anything above that is going to go past the edge. But what we're going to try is the Jenna RTA just because, well, that's like the only RTA that I use. We're going to be using stainless steel. But we will see what that looks like. And that is a little bit short. Although it does look good. Well, it looks good in a sense that it's small. And my drip tip does stick up. So that could, in theory, work. But my lip is going to be right next to that battery cap. So, yeah, and this is a very, very short tank, but it is four and a half mils. But you get the idea, right? Like you, you'd want it to be a little bit taller to go right to the edge. And once again, that is the Digiflavor Z1 side-by-side -side kit. What are we picking up at? It's saying new coil. Yes, 0.51. Fantastic. Let's bring it back on top. All right, here we go. Back on the top with the Digiflavor Z1 side-by-side -side kit. Every single time, if there is something vape-related, there goes even. All right, here we go. So we are sitting at uh, point, well, that's not enough of power, 21.5. We'll do 33 watts on a 0.51, picking up at 4.1 volts. Here we go. Yeah, would have, yeah, okay. That would have been cool if I had adjustability to the airflow. Yeah, 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 yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's on me. Yep, here we go. Now, Oh my. Okay, we're, we're not here for the RTA. Let's talk about it. When you hold this in your hand, right? I, I Look, I know there are certain people out there that fire with this sweet number like this. I can knock it down. I, I can't do it. I, I don't like the idea of firing a mod with a thumb where it's so low set. I almost feel like I'm going to drop the mod. I like firing it like this. And this is... What mod? Was it the shift? Ah... The MX-1 is like this as well, where you have the fire button by the bottom of the tank. And I'm having no issues. That's a 24 millimeter. And keep in mind, my airflow, my other airflow is on the other side behind it. Because it allows for a 25, it allows that airflow to get in there versus a 24. and may cause a little bit of a whistling situation because it's so hard pressed against the tube. When you're holding this like this, this part that feels like the squonk actually feels like it's designed for the inside of your hand. The digital flavor plates is almost like a thumb rest. Where I like this mod the most is something so arbitrary as the abalone on the side. 
It's amazing how you could take, it's like, take, and again, that's not saying this is a piece of shit, but you could take the biggest piece of shit car in the world. Once you put rims on it or give it some new shoes, that shit's nice. It just makes it pop. This is not even expensive, but the fact that they put it on here made it gorgeous. You know, they, they can't really do it with the curve situation because you can't curve something that's naturally flat. It's going to cause it to warp and snap and break and the glue wear off. Companies have tried that with abalone, but it's it's not ideal. So the little square that they did use instead of just making that blanking, making it blase, I do have to give it for Digiflavor or Geek Vape to do this because this minuscule detail is absolutely fucking huge in my opinion. Now, if they continually do that, that's great. Don't change it and make a bare version because people look for products that have things like this. Lost Fate Be Petite, it's not that it's a great mod, it just has abalone on the side of it, and it makes it look absolutely gorgeous. Like, that just, it, that sounded so extra there. It just looks that good. The only thing I don't like about this, which saves its grace and its price, would be the chip. It's so friggin' basic. You don't even get a hit count. You you get just the screen with the fire button up and down. I'm going to have to take a point or two off of that. And this is a short RTA that's on top here. I can never get it how people get these, you know, side by sides and like, oh, I can't wait to get mine. And then you have a tank the size of Pinocchio's nose on it and it just sticks out terribly. Doesn't look good. You know, but then they, they let's just say like, for instance, not saying Digiflavor does this, they should, but let's just say, for instance, I didn't like how low that was. They do make risers. Of course, you're going to get voltage drop and your resistance is going to read all wrong when you start rising it up off of these little plates. But it does allow you to do that to match up and become directly even. I guess in an optimal configuration, like this works, but if I could raise it up two more millimeters to make this edge level with that is fantastic. And the, the only reason, not necessarily this, side-by-sides aren't typically good is because some tanks that you use don't have top fill and you have to disassemble the whole damn thing because you can't, let's just say it's got a side fill and it's blocked up by the side. There's no way to get to it. If I was to rate this side-by-side -side mod, I love the abalone. I am like, I don't want to say I'm starstruck. I just like that they're doing it. Zero to 10, let's go 6.5. Let's go 6.5. If it had a different screen with some color and more information about different settings or making go into stealth mode, I probably would go 7 to a 7.5. 6.5, it's a really, really solid for... I don't, I don't know what's happening. I, maybe I just got to stop doing reviews for a little bit because I just keep forgetting words. It's a really, really solid side-by-side -side for what it is. It's affordable, it's cheap, and it has abalone on the side of it. Watch other Chinese companies start putting abalone on the side of the mods now. Yep. Just watch. I've kept it real. Have you? Check yourself.